Hey guys, welcome to the practical aspects of this class. We are going to be sketching our basic flat cookie. It's what our basic flat cookie look like. It is naked and we put our clothes on top. We dress, we use it to draw our designs. We use these croquis to draw flat and technical sketches and one dimensional sketches. For the purpose of this class, we'll be using our ruler, our pencil, our inlet eraser, and our sharpener. My pencil is already sharp on the other. So, first and foremost, we'll draw a straight line through the center of our paper. If you are sketching, if you are drawing, your straight line, your lines, this part of our lines, you are going to draw it lightly, it should be light because most of these lines we are going to be cleaning them when we are done so but for the purpose of this class, because I want you guys to see what I am doing we are going to use thick lines for it not too thick, shall I say, it's thick, why do you say not too thick, it's thick so first of all, remember we are drawing a 9 head croquis it has 9 heads, 9 sections so we we'll measure we are using the inch section of our ruler. So first of all, we we'll just point out one inch here. Then for the remaining parts of our cookie, we are going to use one inch and one. That is 1.1 inches. Why are we doing this? Because it makes our cookie look longer. It exaggerates the proportions and make it look more fashionable. That's how we are doing it. So it will be 1.1. This is 2.2, 3.2. Now we are done with that. We'll come here to all the points we measure and then we'll draw vertical lines like this across. We draw vertical lines down, down. Now a lot of you have been asking what is nine head, what is nine head? Nine head is the proportion of the head. Let's say this one head. I'll be cleaning this. This another head. This another head. This another head. Yeah. All of them, they are nine in number. That is what we mean by nine head croquis, ten head croquis, eight head croquis, and the rest of that. So now we'll number here this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You should know that number one is your head, number two is your bust or apex. Apex is the highest point of your bust. That is the highest point of your bust here. Yeah. And then number three is your waist, your hips, your thighs your knees, calves, ankles, and the floor of feet. You should know that at your waist is your elbow, around your hip side is your wrist. Yes. Alright, first and foremost, we'll be drawing our head. For our head, we are using 1.4 cm. 1.4. 1.4 divided by 2 is 0 0.7. So you divide each side by 0. Point. You put 0 0.7 at each side. In this side, you put 0 0.7. 0 0.7. This side, 0. And then you draw a straight line here like this, this is straight line. It's in this straight line now you come and draw your head going down like this. This is our head. From this line here,
so from this line here this place you measure half inch and draw a straight line that is in between your bust line that is our shoulder line you connect here to your shoulder line that is for your neck you draw your neck and then for our shoulder we are using 4.4 4.4 divided by 2 is 2.2 so here you measure your 2.2 you measure your 2.2 for the hip for the waist we are using 2.4 cm 2.4 divided by 2 is 1.2 so on each side you measure your 1.2 and your 1.2 for the hips we are using the same 4.4 that we used for that we used for our shoulder this is where proportions come into place to get a balanced coaching you have to your the measurements of your shoulder has to be the same with the measurements of your hips note that the measurement of your shoulder has to be the same with the measurement of your hips. So we come here 2.2. 2.2. So then we join it together. The straight line. Now, once we draw our knees and our ankles at our knee line, which is number six, you come out by 0 0.7 inch and then you draw a small cycle. Do the same thing here 0 0.7, you draw a small cycle for our ankles. The same thing 0 0.7 here, you draw a small cycle. 0.7 we draw a small circle the circle of our ankles is smaller than the circle of our knees from the hips we draw a straight line to meet our knees we draw a straight line to meet our knees And then at this point of our hips, just come out like this a little, come out a little, then you draw a straight line to meet your ankle. You draw a straight line to meet your ankle. And then from here, we just draw our heels. Okay, are you seeing that our crook is already taken form? For our hand, no human body is complete without the hand. You come here, our shoulder points, you go in just a little, and then you tilt your ruler and draw a straight line down to your thigh. Do the same thing here. Tilt your ruler, draw a straight line down to your thigh. At this point of our waist, that is where our elbow is to draw the cycle. Then the wrist is the measurement of the elbow. Our measurements from our shoulder to our elbow, we have 4.2. That will be where our wrist will be. 4.2. 4. 4. 2. Oh, this is too big. Draw your wrist. Draw your wrist. And you connect, connect, come out the two, you see as I'm using my eraser pad, so you have to be careful so I don't make mistake and if you make mistake you clean it and you try again, remember your lines are lighter than this, you connect, 
open it. You can stand up and check it for yourself. Our hand is always in between our our thighs, going to our knees. That is where the length of our hand is. So you just draw your hand. Finger is not straight. Like this. Just draw your hand. Remember, your thumb is not straight. So you curve it. Your fingers in particular are not straight. Our croquis, we are almost done. Almost done. So now we flesh it out. You know, your body is not straight. It's not straight like this. So you give it a little shape. I'll make the lines. Remember, your own lines are already. They are already faint. So you don't need to clean it the way I am doing. You just start fleshing it out directly. So here's our neck. Flesh it out. Give it a little shape. A little form. Remember, we have been able to draw this without actually constructing a skeleton. Yeah. So, your waist side, you need a little shape. Your lip side. Your body is now straight. We are almost there, almost done. Now this is what you are going to do. You see these lines here? I didn't use these lines here. You clean it. You remove them. You don't want to see them. You remove these lines. My own will not really clean like that again because I've made my lines thick. But you should clean out your lines that are inside. They should not be showing something like this. You clean out your lines. Tell you why we are doing this in minutes. We are highlighting it like this. Be careful so I get your proportions right. This man is shaking. Your hand should not shake this. Be careful. Just do it slowly and gently. We are doing it so that we will give our croquis a bit, make it the lines darker so we could use it to sketch our flat sketches your bust line is under a little bit under your bust line that is your under bust and you can just bring out the neck just like this your neckline viola we are almost now see see the magic can you see it can you do you notice anything this is it this is a paper you just 
place it on top and you see you'll be able to trace the body proportions on your cookie you'll be able to trace it on your white paper this is our cookie let's let's get ourselves a flat sketch let's design a straight pencil gown so let's say the gown we want to design is off shoulder we just It's not off enough. Let's see. We are designing off shoulder here. So just and then just draw your lines. Draw your lines. I'll go and stretch you. Let's give our off shoulder sleeve. Let's make it a big, big and long. We want a big and long sleeve. A big and long sleeve. This is our sleeve. And naturally, this place is a bit scattered. Just draw your scattered lines up, up, and there's a bit, a small, yeah, something like here. This is what we call a technical flat sketch, a technical sketch or a flat sketch. And then you know you just design it and your friends come and they see they say, Wow, you are so talented. And you say, Yes, I'm so talented. You know that there's something here in which you use to draw your gown. This will be the end of today's class. There's going to be assignments. I almost forgot. Oh, thank God. You have an assignment. You draw your croquis and one, you draw five croquis. Or should we make it ten? No, let's just make it five. You draw five croquis and give me a flat sketch. Assignment again. Yes, assignment again. And please endeavor to do your assignments. Thank you and have a nice day.